Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with the date. March 19th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Then we will reread poems for enjoyment and understanding. Last, we will write sentences that start with I have. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Let's look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this for the so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start at the top right hand corner. I see the spelling for this month with a capital letter M A R C H. What does that say? It does say March. If you knew that, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital letter M to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, let's reread. Remember, from top to bottom and left to right, March 19th, 2024, dear class family, today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is a terrific Tuesday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence and the period at the end. Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. Look at the next sentence. Let's reread it. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day. We're working on being a portrait of a graduate. And we're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. All right, class family, let's see the order of what we're doing this morning in language arts. First, next, then, and last. First, we will learn letters and sounds, just like we do every day at school in kindergarten. We use so many resources to pump our brains with knowledge, including our word wall with the foundations cards. We we'll review letters, sounds, pictures to match that word, and American Sign Language. On this particular resource, the consonants have yellow in the background and the vowels have red. Review vowels with me, kindergartners. Are you ready? A, A, apple, E, A, ed, I, I, itch, O, A, octopus, U, A, up. In addition to our word wall with the foundations cards, we'll use our sound wall learning how to shape our mouths for all of the consonants and vowels as we're using the program U Fly. We'll also use our My Alphabet book to go through all of the letters A to Z and we'll do the U Fly shuffle. We created that in class where we go ahead and figure out different letters and sounding them out and figuring it out on the spot instead of in order. Oh, it's great pumping our brain with knowledge and you know it, you love it, phonemic awareness, tapping that beginning, middle, and ending sound, saying that whole word is fantastic, and we're going to be writing them too. Next, we'll go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Okay, so we're going to pump our brains with knowledge. We're going to go on LexiCore 5 reading program, logging on independently to your iPad to pass more units. Get your time goal met. You're also going to be finishing writing the room with all of the March Write the Room words that are already displayed within the classroom. You're gonna be reading books, doing some other box centers, and remember when a teacher calls your name to go ahead and meet with that teacher to continue to work hard and pump your brain with knowledge. Then we will reread poems for enjoyment and understanding. Okay, so good readers read things again. We know that it's called rereading. So we'll be rereading some different poems for understanding and getting to hear some new poems as well. Remember this one? I'm glad the sky is painted blue. I'm glad the sky is painted blue and the earth is painted green with such a lot of nice fresh air. 
all sandwiched in between. The author of this poem is unknown. We're going to reread this poem and lots of others and continue to enjoy and immerse ourselves into so many different types of poetry. Last we'll write sentences to start with I have, we will. We're going to be starting with I have and we're, shout out to Jack Harbin's YouTube channel. We're going to use your channel parts of a sentence song. Remember one, starts with a cap capital letter. Two, tells a complete idea. Three, fingers face between the words so the words don't smush together. And four, a punctuation mark at the end. Remember, it could be a period, exclamation point, or a question mark. Today, we're going to do telling sentences and statements using I have at the beginning. So we'll be putting periods at the end. It is a great day, love, Miss Joyner. It is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Or do you like question? If yes or no answers is, do you like cherry blossoms? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like cherry blossoms?